Hello. Today's video is a project for a customer, a friend actually, a really amazing musician <clears throat> who goes by C-Section 8, Drew. Um, air quotes, noise musician, but very sublime stuff. Um, and what he wanted me to do was very simple. There was a speaker in here that was always on. It had an an extra speaker jack that was just jumped over from the speaker. And he wanted to be able to run this into his mixer and mix it in and, in and out with all kinds of other stuff. But the speaker was still uh, yammering away inside of this thing. So we wanted a removal of the speaker. Uh, the jack, the 8th inch 3.5 millimeter jack was busted. So he wanted... Uh, um, a new jack. I went with quarter inch because that's what I had. And the potentiometer, which is actually kind of a crazy thing I've never seen. This was He bought this in India, the Rajini Digital Harmonium. Um, and it had stuff going on with the, with the pot and I didn't have something similar. So the way he uses it, it would work for him to just short this the volume out so that it's always max volume and then like I said he mixes stuff with uh, through his mixer so that was fine but it made me think that I should probably do a video for a very like remedial you don't if you know how to solder and nothing else you could still do this and I think it's something that a lot of especially experimental noisy type people like to do is to get rid of a speaker and just clip these wires and hook it up to a cable output, a quarter inch output or whatever output you want. But speaker level is much, much hotter than line level. And there's a really, really simple fix with just a couple of parts and a basic solder that you can do on the jack that will dump this level down to line level. And like I said, this is total beginner stuff for a lot of you. You can go to the calculus videos while we spend time here in children's land, which I love. Um, so what you're going to need are two resistors, a 1K resistor and a 10K resistor. You probably can't see the color codes, and I'm colorblind, so I keep them in little drawers so I know what's what. You twist the two of them together on one end. This is your 1K, this is your 10K. Keep track of those. And every, uh, most speaker outputs and uh, output wires are going to be red and black. Black is the ground wire, red is your actual line level. The line level, or the line, uh, the line output goes to the tip. So when you plug this in, there's the tip and whichever tab of these is, is this, you can, uh, you can kind of see it. This one is the, is the sheathing and the casing and this one goes to the tip. This double twisted resistor dealy, that's what you want going to the tip. That's what you want going to the line. And you also want the red wire that you've disconnected. I'm going to hold the camera so I can show you actually what I did. There's our two resistors. That's the 10K, that's the 1K. They're twisted together and they hook up to that little tab which connects to the end tip of your quarter inch cable. Now the other side of the 1K resistor jumps over to the tab that connects to the black wire from your, spe your disconnected speaker the ground. That's what's connecting to 
the casing and the big metal part of a quarter inch nail connector. And the output, the line output, which was connected to the speaker, the red wire going to the speaker, is going to the loose end of the 10K resistor. So the 1K is going, joining up with the 10K and then jumping over to ground. Your line is coming in from the machine to the 10K and then going to the tab that connects to the tip. And that will quiet your level down so it's not crazy loud. And anybody who's ever tried to just take apart a speak and spell or whatever kind of toy you might want to modify and uh, think that you can just clip the speaker wires and hook them up to a quarter inch cable or a quarter inch jack knows that that level is usually way, way hot and it gets distorted and it doesn't match the line level outputs of your synthesizers and all that kind of stuff. So I thought I would just show you, um, that's an easy little trick that you can do with basic soldering skills and um, a couple of resistors. And you can, the there's, of course, the values of the resistors, you can fuss around with them for different line level changes. You can put a potentiometer in place of the 1K to, to bring it to, to sort of make a volume pot for it. But um, this is just kind of your go-to average toy speaker output level to manageable, wrangleable quarter inch line level output. All righty, let's put this back together. And have her sing us out. Oh, my fingers were in there with it plugged in. Never do that at home, kids. Turn it on. I like how the tone control is ladies and gents. Evidently, ladies don't like bass. I think that's bullshit. <laughs>